Hi, and welcome to another Caldwell Conversation. I'm April Hedman, Enrollment Director here at Caldwell Academy, and today I'm sitting down with Kim Founds, one of the science teachers in our rhetoric school. She teaches life sciences, biological sciences, and I'm excited to get to know her and hear her thoughts today. Um, Kim, will you talk to me about what you think is unique or special about a Caldwell education? That's actually a really hard question to answer because it has changed over the years. The way that I answer that question has mm -hmm. changed. Um, this is my 17th year at Caldwell. I came when my youngest child was ready for kindergarten. So I was ready to go back to work and I was looking for a school that could accommodate me being a certified high school teacher and yet my children, both, I had two children um, that needed elementary school and so Caldwell being a K-12 school and I thought okay well and once I got here the model of a classical Christian school was a beautiful fit for not only my family but the way I believe kids learn mm -hmm. so I just loved when my children were young that they were with adults who loved Christ and loved them extremely well um, as they got older and moved into the high school, and so as a parent, I started to, like all parents, mm -hmm. are they ready? Are they ready to leave? Mm -hmm. Are they ready to go and live by themselves, looking at colleges? I really started to feel deeply confident in my family's choice to be at Caldwell mm -hmm. because I saw in my teenagers that they had skills. Mm -hmm not just content. Mm -hmm. Caldwell is a place about empowering kids mm -hmm. with skills to be lifelong learners. So it's not the model of just let's open your head and fill you with a bunch of knowledge. It's instead let's give you the tools necessary to read, write, public speak, to stand up in front of your classmates and compare and contrast to ideas, to take a stand, to passionately outline why you believe a certain side is right or just saw them as being so autonomous. I know it's cliche to say yeah. lifelong learners, yeah. but before they even left high school, mm -hmm. I could see the seeds of lifelong learning planted in them. Mm -hmm. And so now my kids are the next stage from where we are. They are undergraduate and graduate school. And I still see the fruits of this classical mm -hmm. Christian education in them mm -hmm. and the way that they are set high goals and are tenacious. Mm -hmm. The work ethic that Caldwell wow. mm -hmm. instilled in them mm -hmm. is carrying them so far. Mm -hmm. I'm just... Wow. I'm beyond grateful. It's really good to hear that perspective, both as a teacher seeing it, but also as a parent. Mm -hmm. um, tell me how you see your role as a teacher here at Caldwell in the students' lives. Okay, I love this job so much. <laughs> I love working at Caldwell so much than other schools that, that I have been in in my career because here Caldwell gives me, it encourages me to really be a mentor for other people's children. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. It's mm -hmm. a privilege I, mm -hmm. I really don't take lightly to come alongside someone else's child and encourage them, build them up, let them know you've got this, help them set high goals for themselves mm -hmm. and come alongside and help them figure out what their strengths and weaknesses are, mm -hmm. maybe come alongside and correct some of those weaknesses so that they can achieve their goals. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like to think that I am your child's biggest cheerleader mm -hmm. beyond behind you of yeah, course right I just mm -hmm. love cheering them on to meet their own goals mm -hmm. for themselves it's just it's such a privilege to be invited in like this that's a really special way to think about it I appreciate that as a parent I appreciate that too um tell me what you love about teaching science what is it about that subject that calls to you well, I've always loved science. I even as a kid, I never read non I always read nonfiction. I never had any time for <laughs> fiction books. I just loved studying nature and the natural world. It just and so I just now that I'm older and growing um, continue to grow each year with my walk with the Lord, I see the more I understand the natural world, the more I glimpse 
God, hmm. his invisible qualities. He's revealed himself to us in the natural world. Absolutely. And so I, studying him is, studying, I'm sorry, studying science is a way to study him. That's right. I, I also right. just can't, I gotta, can't, can't, I gotta say, science is constantly changing. Yeah. It corrects itself, it examines itself, it's constantly looking to fine tune, how can we better, more deeply understand, and I, I just love that. And so mm -hmm. it's always changing, it's always fresh, yeah. it's always new. Yeah, there's this, and, there's a sense of like renewed pursuit, right, of, of just kind of... And it always yeah. reflects our Creator. That's right. So mm. I just love Infinitely it. Infinitely beautiful. Thank you. Thank You're you, welcome. Kim. Thank you for mentoring our students. Thank you for being um, such a cheerleader in their lives and pointing them to Jesus. Um, if you would like to learn more about Caldwell, I would welcome you to schedule a campus visit. And as always, thank you for watching.